a very good and cheerful morning to my dear students i really hope you all are safe and sound and uh, studying well at the home and you all are getting the content on the time from your teachers so uh, today we are going to start the next uh, two, that is part two and before going in the part two i just wanted to give you a brief of part one so that uh, we can have a continuity in our topics okay so first we are starting with a brief of our uh, of our last session so in the last session we have discussed about the syllabus and the marking scheme after that we have started with unit one and in the unit one we have studied about the communication definition what is communication then we have discussed about the importance of communication that is inform influence and express feelings after that we have discussed about the elements of communication different different uh, uh, elements we have discussed in detail and here we have ex i have explained the elements of communication with this diagram then we have discussed about the perspectives in communication and after that uh, effective communication we have discussed okay so till now we have completed now we are starting with the next topic that is the methods of communication okay so communication definition we have studied now how many communication math uh, how many modes we are having to communicate with a person okay so that's come in the methods of communication so first is the visual communication then you have verbal communication and then non-verbal communication so these three are the methods of the communication we will discuss these three communication methods in detail now so first is verbal communication okay as the first you can see verbal communication so let's talk about it so verbal communication is the sharing of information by using words okay by using words just focus on this uh, these words by using words okay so here we are sharing the information communication means what sharing the information so if we share the information by using only words okay words use karke agar hum kisi ke saath apne information share karte hain so that kind of communication is known as the verbal communication okay now it is the important it is the important part or it is important because the communication is face to face okay so in case if you use any wrong words then there can be chances to correct it and can easily be explained what a person wants to say okay so, okay, so let's take an example so if you are talking with your friend okay and you are uh, giving him some him or her some information okay about your new timetable or new schedule okay so when you are communicating face to face whatever doubt your friends are having they can ask you instantly so there are chances to correct it you can correct if he is not getting the things correctly so you can correct instantly कि यहाँ पर ये नहीं ये बात है आप उसकी जो भी आप बात समझा रहे हो वो आपको फिर से अगर क्रॉस क्वेश्चन कर रहा है तो उसके टर्म्स में आप उसी क्रॉस क्वेश्चन का फिर से आप उसको आंसर बैक कर सकते हो तो फेस टू फेस कम्युनिकेशन होता है जहाँ पे आपने अगर कोई मिस्टेक करी है या आपने सही बोला लेकिन फ्रेंड ने उसको रॉन्ग इंटरप्रेट किया है तो उस टाइम पर आप उसको वापस से करेक्ट कर सकते हो तो ये इसका बहुत ही बड़ा एडवांटेज होता है the important forms of verbal communication are now some forms we are discussing here so the first form is <coughs> <coughs> excuse me so the first form is oral or spoken communication communication which involves talking okay so uh, as this name suggest oral or spoken communication okay so if you are communicating while if you are communicating by this okay talking so communication Uh, which involves talking these are considered under the oral or spoken communication group okay so I'll just take some examples group discussion talking to family member at home conversation with public through speeches talking on a phone classroom teaching business discussion public speeches okay method okay 
Now next is written communication. The communication which involves written or typed words. Okay, so this method, this communication, आप अगर किसी friend को suppose आपका friend Delhi में है, okay, और आपको उससे बात करनी है, तो आप उसको क्या करेंगे? एक तरीका है कि आपने उसको call किया और आप दोनों ने आपस में contact कर लिया और बात हो गई। तो ये method क्या हुई हमारी verbal communication और उसमें भी कौन सा type आ गया हमारा oral क्योंकि आप दोनों phone पे बात कर रहे हैं, okay? Let's suppose आपके friend ने आपका call pick नहीं किया, वो busy था। So what we will do? आप एक message कर drop कर दोगे उसको कि whenever you get free, please call me back, है ना? आपने उसको एक message drop कर दिया। तो अभी भी आपने उसे communicate किया, but किस तरीके से? कुछ लिख के, okay? So this is again a verbal communication, but which form? It is a written communication. Okay, so here are some examples. You are not speaking here, you are just writing. You are communicating by uh, some written methods. Okay, so examples are writing letters, notes, uh, email, SMS, using email to share news, thoughts, documents, and file, etc. So if I ask you which communication method I'm using here, so you will say, ma'am, you are using verbal communication and the form is both oral as well as written why because i'm speaking as well as i'm giving you the notes okay you can see the notes here you can see all the notes here so i'm using both oral as well as the written communication okay i hope you got these two points now let's come to the advantages of verbal communication so it's you know very simple you can write in your terms also so अगर कोई आपको मैं एडवांटेजेस आपको भी नहीं बता रही हूँ पॉइंट्स नहीं दिखा रही हूँ ओके सिंपली जो चीज़ अभी तक हमने पढ़ी है उसको देखे अगर आपसे पूछता है कि नाउ टेल मी व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस तो आपको इसमें क्या एडवांटेजेस लगे फर्स्ट इज इट इज इजी बिकॉज यू आर जस्ट स्पीकिंग विद यू आर जस्ट स्पीकिंग एंड देन यू आर कम्युनिकेटिंग विद योर फ्रेंड्स ओके और यू आर राइटिंग समथिंग और यू आर सेंडिंग सम मैसेज और मेकिंग अ फोन कॉल or through some speeches or conversation like anything you are just talking so obviously it is easy to use and now simple and easy first advantage now second advantage is because here it is face to face so if you feel in happy koi bhi mujhse bolne mein galti ho gai hai mere friend usko galat interpret kar raha hai to aap instantly apni baat ko change kar sakte ho hai na to एक तरीके से इस तरीके से भी ये अच्छा हुआ कि इंस्टेंटली आप अपने वर्ड्स को चेंज कर सकते हो है ना तो इस तरीके से एडवांटेजेस आप खुद इन चीज़ों को पढ़ के लिख सकते हो सो जस्ट सी इट इज़ इजी एंड क्विक इट इज़ इन इजियर फॉर्म ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन वैव यू हैव टू एक्सचेंज आइडियाज यू कीप चेंजिंग योर कम्युनिकेशन एज पर द पर्सन रिप्लाई जैसे कि भी मैंने आपको समझाया नेक्स्ट इज डिसएडवाटेजेस ऑफ वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन सो डिसएडवाटेज इज वॉट It disadvantage is the cultural difference. Okay, so disadvantages is the cultural differences due to the use of different languages. And up to like uh, your one friend is from America and you are an Indian. You are using uh, Hindi or you you are using using English, but your accent is different than your friend. Okay, so you can have some problem over there. Okay, like he is using some different language, or you he, he is using some different accent while you are using different. So there can be some problem while communicating. So verbal communication is easy, quick. We can change our ideas fast, but the problem is disadvantages. What the cultural differences? Okay. Next is uh, this is a uh, important note. Okay, ये verbal communication में जो points थे ये ये first, second, third and fourth point आपको देखना है and फिर then disadvantages. फिर ये जो है important note है बीच में ये आपको इसका definition या बोल सकते हैं ये note आपको ध्यान रखना exam point of view से important होता ही है. Okay, so someone ask you what is public speaking? ये इसके इस topic के अंदर इसलिए आया है because हम यहाँ पे सारी वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन पे बात करें दैट मीन्स जिसमें हम स्पीक करते हैं जिसमें हम बोलते हैं ओके हम अपनी हम अपनी इन्फॉर्मेशन को कन्वे करते हैं बाय स्पीकिंग इसलिए हम इस टॉपिक को इसमें डिस्कस करें पब्लिक स्पीकिंग सो स्पीकिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अ लार्ज ग्रुप 
makes most people nervous you can use the three piece so public speaking mein okay public speaking basically hota hai kya hai we are giving speech we are speaking whatever it is okay so we are doing it in front of the पब्लिक जो भी हम बोल रहे हैं किसके सामने पब्लिक के सामने है ना बहुत लोगों के सामने सो so, ये आपका स्कूल सेमिनार भी बोल सकता है जैसे कि आपको कुछ आज स्पीच देना है सारे अपने फ्रेंड्स के बीच में स्टूडेंट्स के सामने तो आप वहाँ पे ये भी क्या हुआ एक पब्लिक स्पीकिंग हुआ सो so, पब्लिक स्पीकिंग में बेसिकली बहुत सारे लोग क्या होते हैं नर्वस हो जाते हैं आप में से भी बहुत लोग होंगे जिसको स्टेज पर होगा कि स्टेज पर जाना है तो आपको बहुत सोचना पड़ता है ना डर लगता है तो स्टेज पर होता है so public speaking is what speaking in front of the public that is called the public speaking and the people get nervous uh, or they have the phobia of this public speaking so you can use three p's usko overcome karne ke liye khatam karne ke liye kam karne ke liye aap in three p's ka dhyan rakh sakte hai na three p's kya hai yahan pe prepare practice and then perform ओके टू प्रजेंट अ स्पीच इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर योर फ्रेंड्स इन योर सेमिनार हॉल ओके सो इफ यू जस्ट कम इन द स्कूल एंड जस्ट स्टैंड ऑन द स्टेज विदाउट एनी प्रिपरेशन सो डेफिनेटली यू फील सो नर्वस ओके बट इफ वन डे बिफोर द टॉपिक हैव बिन गिवन टू यू एंड यू जस्ट प्रिपेयर अ नॉट ऑन इट यू जस्ट हैव प्रैक्टिस फॉर इट एंड देन गिवन परफॉर्मेंस देन इट विल बी uh very effective and uh, for you also you will be in a very comfort zone okay so uh, in public speaking you should have uh, uh you should bear in mind you should bear in mind these these three p's prepare practice and perform so prepare is what before going to uh before going for any public speaking first of all you should prepare 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 means uh, you first of all you should see the topic on which you have to speak second which kind of audience you have kis type ke logo ke samne aapko bolna hai and how much how much content you have to speak so these three terms comes in the prepare after preparation second is the practice you have prepared the topic okay now you practice it so practice is what you just try to speak whatever you have prepared you just try to speak in front of your parents or you just practice it in front of the mirror and talk to yourself only or in the in front of your friends so these comes in the practice and then go to stage for the performance so if you use these three stages prepare practice and then perform then definitely you can reduce your stage phobia you can have a better public speaking okay and become confident and you can be an effective speaker next is since we were discussing about the methods of communication so first communication we have discussed in detail that is verbal communication definition its forms advantages and disadvantages now next is non verbal communication so non verbal communication is the message we send to others without using any words so verbal communication is what communicating through words so non verbal just is ka vice versa in words case so the communication which do not involves words jisme words nahi aate ho unko bolte hain non verbal to words aate ho that means speaking ke through hua ya fir writing written aapne kuch likh ke bheja ठीक है और नॉन वर्बल यानी कि आपको वर्ड्स यूज नहीं करना ना राइटिंग के थ्रू ना फिर स्पीकिंग के थ्रू तो आप कैसे करेंगे ऑब्वियसली यू यू विल यूज सम पोस्चर सम गेस्चर्स ओके एवरीबडी हैव प्लेड द डमशराज गेम है ना तो आप उसमें क्या करते हैं आप ना तो कुछ लिख के देते हैं ना बोलते हैं वॉट यू डू यू जस्ट एक्सप्लेन एवरी थिंग बाई योर एक्सप्रेशन बाई योर गेस्चर्स एंड योर बॉडी पोस्चर्स ओके सो दैट सेम इज नॉन वर्बल नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन दैट मीन्स एट द एट द गेम ऑफ डमशराज यू आर यूजिंग नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन ओके सो इन नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन यू आर एक्सप्रेसिंग योर मैसेजेस और यू आर कन्वेइंग योर मैसेजेस थ्रू एक्सप्रेशन गेस्चर्स एंड बॉडी पोस्चर्स नाउ द इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन कौन कौन सी इसकी इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर्म्स होती है जैसे वर्बल में भी हमने डिस्कस किया था इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर्म्स वर टू फर्स्ट वॉज the speaking and second was the writing similarly non verbal communication again we have two important forms 
first is the hand, hand movements and second is the expressions okay so hand movements and body language examples hai raising a hand to greet pointing your finger in anger hai na expressions ho gaya smiling to show happiness and making a sad face uh, and making a sad face when you are upset nice so uh, if in a uh, in a class if teacher ask you something and uh, uh, the teacher just told you just asked you to not say any word and if you know the answer just raise your hand if you don't know the answer then please uh, your hand should be down so these that means at that time your teacher is using non verbal communication if you know the answer you will raise your hand if you don't know the answer then your hand will be down okay so these kind of gestures you are using to communicate with your teacher is the non verbal communication second is the expressions if you are sitting in the class and you are smiling that means you are happy today okay but if you are uh, if your face is very dull very sad that means this uh, that shows you are upset okay so by your face your friends or family can understand whether you are happy or upset so through the expressions they are getting you they are uh, getting the message from you what you are feeling okay so uh, what you are uh, feeling so these were the non verbal communication now next what is the advantage so the advantage is non verbal communication makes our message stronger using the right gesture while speaking makes our message more effective hai na isse hum apni speaking ko aur zyada effective bana sakte hain suppose uh, again take an example of a teacher only if a teacher uh, she just and uh, when she just came in your class and she is explaining you she uh, she is not moving at all she is just standing in front of you you know and uh, her hands are down and she is just speaking continuously she is speaking and explaining the content to you but she is not using any gesture like hand open uh, hands ko hilana ya kuch aapko batane ka try karna she is not using any kind of gesture now obviously you will get bored you know and you won't understand the topics which your teacher wants to explain you and at the same time if a teacher uses some gestures some body language like uh, she tries to make some funny faces when the topic is uh, uh, like uh, when she want to make the class entertaining uh, and she is trying to convey the message through different different uh, uh, gestures then obviously this will be a very effective uh, class for you okay so uh non verbal communication as well as verbal communication non verbal as well as verbal makes the message more stronger because you are speaking as well as you are making the gestures fine so this was, was the non verbal communication then next is uh, you can see here these are the some basic forms which have just discussed ओके उसी को डिटेल में बताया हुआ है या फिर इनको आप डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स बोल सकते हैं नॉर्मल वर्बल की सो फर्स्ट टाइप इज एक्सप्रेशन थ्रू एक्सप्रेशन यू कैन कम्युनिकेट थ्रू पॉस्चर्स लाइक हियर व्हाट यू कैन अज्यूम ही इज सिटिंग लाइक दिस दैट मीन्स ही इज अपसेट ओके और ही इज थिंकिंग अबाउट समथिंग ऐसा कुछ भी आप अज्यूम कर सकते हो बाय हिज बॉडी पॉस्चर थर्ड इज केस्चर्स If your thumbs up, that means you are saying done. If your thumb down, that means you are saying it's not good. Okay. Next is touch. If you are uh, shaking hand with someone, that means you are greeting to him. If you are waving hand at someone like this, that means you are saying hi or bye. Okay. If you are pointing someone like this in a very rude way, that means you are angry. So through the eye contact and through the body language. So these are the different types of the non-verbal. <clears throat> so you can see the types: facial expression. What it implies? A facial expression many times shows the feeling of a person. How to make use of non-verbal communication effectively? Keep your face relaxed. Try to match your expression with what you are saying. So these are 
लाइक वॉट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन का क्या हुआ पोस्चर्स का क्या हुआ और यहाँ पे लिखा है आपको किस तरीके से यूज़ करना चाहिए ये सब चीज़ों को ताकि अपने कम्युनिकेशन को और भी ज़्यादा इफेक्टिव बना सके नाउ नेक्स्ट इज गेस्चर्स और द बॉडी लैंग्वेजेस इट डिस्क्राइब मूवमेंट ऑफ पार्ट्स ऑफ द बॉडी सो अवॉइड पॉइंटिंग एट पीपल विद योर फिंगर सो इफ यू सुना हो ना मम्मा को बोलते हैं फिंगर मत बताओ किसी को है ना सो वाई दिस इज से दिस बिकॉज इफ यू आर पॉइंटिंग टू सम वन दैट शोज दैट यू आर सेंग समथिंग इल अबाउट दैम सो डोंट यूज द फिंगर इंस्टेड ऑफ कीपिंग योर हैंड्स इन पॉकेट वेल टॉकिंग ट्राई टू कीप योर हैंड्स ऑन द साइड्स लाइक देन टच स्पेस आई कॉन्टैक्ट पेरा लैंग्वेज सो यू जस्ट रीड ऑल दिस थिंग्स इट्स वेरी ईजी ना सो आफ्टर वर्बल नॉन वर्बल सो थर्ड टाइप इज द विजुअल कम्युनिकेशन दिस इन्वॉल्व सेंडिंग एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग मैसेज ओनली थ्रू इमेज और पिक्चर्स नाउ वर्बल यू आर इन वर्बल यू आर स्पीकिंग और राइटिंग इन नॉन वर्बल यू आर जस्ट कम्युनिकेटिंग विद सम बॉडी केशर्स विद सम पोजेस ओके एंड इन विजुअल कम्युनिकेशन यू आर नॉट स्पीकिंग you are not making any hand movement or something but you are communicating through the pictures only okay so that comes in the visual communication and the main advantage of this type of communication is that you do not need to know any particular language okay so whatever picture you are showing that will be similar for everyone uh, and for every person whatever picture you are using that will be same Okay, it will not varies from country to country, person to person. So you don't need to know any particular type of specific specific type of language. It is simple, easy to understand, and repeating the same across different places. Like if this symbol, so what you interpret by the symbol, it shows that doesn't does not blow horn. What these three light shows, red light means stop, yellow means wait, and green means go. what uh, this shows like uh, everywhere you have seen some signs for the toilets whether this is ladies toilet or the gents toilet okay next is this inflammable uh, this flammable substance this shows that uh, this is showing some uh, uh, fire sign okay and the slippery face so by the pictures you can understand what is trying to uh, converse so here we are done thanks for watching it and if you have any doubt then please feel free to ask and in the next class we will discuss about some advanced concept of communication thank you so much